Yo, what's going on you guys? So today, we're going to be doing some quick updates to my old E39 M5 interior. Yo, what is going on you guys? It's Marshall here. And uh, this is going to be just a compilation DIY video probably. And we're going to start off with today I got a new shift knob in and uh, we're going to replace the ill-fitting E46 one that's in there right now. Um, but probably just a bunch of little DIY stuff that I'm going to be doing to this car because there's a lot of little things on this thing that needs to be switched up. So let me go around and show you guys what that looks like. Yeah, so as you guys can see, this is what's in there right now. It's actually, this is um, the OEM E46 M3 knob and it's illuminated. I mean, it's brand new, it's nice. These are pretty expensive, like 200 bucks. But uh, as you guys can see, the shift boot isn't the same size and it's fully connected on these shift knobs. And I don't really want to cut it, so I just bought a new ZHP knob and an Alcantara boot from, uh, I think, Col Colby or something? I can't remember. Alright guys, so here's the E46 one. I got it off. I'm not gonna lie, I took this off earlier, so it was super easy to remove this time. But uh, in order to take it off the first time, I legit stood up on both seats with both feet and yanked it up to get it out. These things are stuck on there pretty good, but just pry away and uh, use all your strength. Stand on the seats and you can get the shift knob out of these uh, E39 MFs. This is the new one I got. I got a, this is a ZHP knob and it's weighted and it's a lot smaller. I thought, you know what, why not? I already ordered, I wanted the Alcantara boot. And uh, I was looking into these with the illuminated, but I wasn't going to spend 200 bucks just to have the, the thing light up. Although it is quite nice on here because this one lights up. Um, yeah, so there we go. ZHP weighted little shift knob. So, um, let me get the shift boot all ready and then I can just slap this thing on there. So the, the shift boot I got, it's from like a... Uh, Colby or something, Colby Designs. Yeah, so I'm just gonna slap this on um, to the OEM shift boot. This is the original one, and I just, you know, scraped off all the old glue on here. Um, so I'm just gonna glue this one on, uh, nice and Alcantara to match the steering wheel and the headliner. All right, there it is, you guys. I got it all glued on the back there. Um, got glue all over my hand now, but yeah, we're just gonna throw this in the car and then throw the shift knob on. Alright, so there it is, uh, <laughs> not illuminated unfortunately, but, you know, the illuminated one was like 200 bucks, and I was fine spending 80 on just not having my, uh, numbers light up. So there it is, quick, super easy, um, way to transform your car, um, I don't know, I haven't driven it yet, but it's a little bit shorter, but nothing too crazy over the stock one. Alright you guys, so now that we got that ZHP knob in there with the Alcantara shift boot, um, you know, I was just doing one of those things I do when I get into any new chassis, and I'm sure you guys do the same thing, you know. I'm familiar with it, E39, first time I've had one, so I just went online and was looking at random parts that I can buy for the car, and one of the things I stumbled upon was this right here. And this is actually a Euro sliding armrest for the E39, um, because this car was still made in that era where these cars came with telephones in the center console from factory. As you guys can see, this is the factory armrest and it has this little slot here. And that's where the original cell phone used to sit in this car. Not cell phone, telephone. My bad, it wasn't a cell phone back then. It was a straight up telephone in here. Um, and the thing about this is that it just slides, this armrest, it doesn't open up, there's no storage in it. So the new one's nice, it fills this whole thing, and it opens, and has a little storage cubby. So, I'm gonna go ahead, throw that in there. All right, so it's super easy to take this out. I already did this when I did the vinyl install. Um, super easy to take this out. Just get in here, pry this off, use some force.
Now that we got that old armrest out, so you guys can see there's just a hole in there. No storage compartment where the old one was with the phone. And then here's the new armrest. Like I said, it's one piece, actual full armrest. And it slides and pops up and it has this bottom compartment in it. So I think pretty simple install. Um, looks like I just put this back in. I don't use these front screws again. And then I'm just gonna put that part on top, screw it all down, show you guys what that looks like. Like I showed you guys before, this is the old one. And this show really shows the age of these E39s because they came with a telephone there and that's why there's a hole in the middle because that's where uh, the OEM uh, telephone came originally. And then this is the Euro OEM BMW sliding armrest. Goes back and forth and it also pops up and we got a little storage compartment now. So there it is, Euro armrest install. All right, you guys, so now that the interior is coming together, if I saw it did in the previous video, I wrapped the trim pieces in this forged carbon looking material stuff here. And now that the car has the Colby Alcantara shift boot with the ZHP knob in there looking all nice, matching the Alcantara sh steering wheel, as you guys can see. Um, and then we just did the Euro armrest. But when I'm looking at all this, the one thing that really really caught my attention was the fact that I still have this wooden parking brake handle and it kind of just sticks out and doesn't really blend in with the rest of the interior now so it's something I didn't notice when I bought the shift boot probably would have saved a little bit on shipping but I got it now off the Colby website and that is this right here this Colby uh, Alcantara shift I mean parking brake handle so we're gonna take that off and throw this one on. So this is the parking brake handle, Alcantara, with black stitching, so it's super low key. Don't want any, didn't want any contrast stitching on this, just like the shift boot. Um, got it from the same place. So we're just gonna take off the existing shift knob, I mean parking brake handle. All I gotta do, basically, take this off. And then, I gotta just keep, twisting this so it breaks off um, the old parking brake handle. Just gonna keep twisting it back and forth, I think. Oh. I popped off the wooden trim piece and looks like it's held on by this little like screw or pin thing in the inside that's preventing it from coming off. So, just gonna pop that off and uh, then this should slide right off. Just enough they've been messing around with this little silver thing that's holding this thing in as you guys can see. Oh man, kind of being difficult but we're gonna get this out of here. Just prying on it with a screwdriver. <laughs> so couldn't really deal with that little pin so I just used the Dremel to grind that little metal thing down and now the handle just slides right off. Bam, so there it is you guys. Alcantara Colby wheel uh, parking brake handle installed. It's actually a really tight fit so it's really hard to get on there. It's really snug and it takes a lot of force to get this thing down and really push it down. What helped me a little bit it was a little bit of a, I used a towel and a mallet to help knock it down a little bit. But yeah, it's on there. Looks way better than the wood one. Now it's matching the Colby wheel um, Alcantara shift boot. So we got that all matching in there. Updates the look of the car. All right, you guys, so that's pretty much gonna wrap up today's video. And that's also pretty much gonna wrap up what I have planned for the interior. Pretty happy with the way it looks now with the forged carbon bits. It gives it a nice contrast versus that old dated shadow gray trim I had in here. And that look, it looks pretty nice for now and it matches the sort of monochromatic theme in here of all the black. Um, and then we got everything matching with the Alcantara steering wheel. Really like this steering wheel with the Alcantara um, shift boot now to match with the ZHP knob, of course. And then after we had all that in there, that emergency brake handle really stood out like a sore thumb, being wood. And I had to go and change that, so now we got that nice Alcantara one on there. And everything's matching, it looks really nice, and it matches the Alcantara OEM headliner that comes on all these M5s. And Alcantara in general, it just gives it a nice upscale look 
even though you know you guys can say what you want it's probably gonna look not so good in a year or two but I really like the look of the Alcantara contrast um, and then lastly you know we got that new Euro armrest in there updates the car you know no longer has that hole for that old telephone that they used to throw in all these older BMWs um, so I have an actual armrest now with a storage com component in there as well so I'm really happy with that and then we got the rear seats dyed so pretty happy with the interior for now and uh, that's pretty much gonna wrap up today's video for the most part if you guys like what you guys saw it's been Young Marsh hit the subscribe like comment whatever you guys want to do and until next time peace out